Hi, this is Dr. Lani, and congratulations on your hair transplant procedure. Um, I went through my procedure earlier this morning, and I want to take a quick video, make a quick video on uh, whether or not um, you should or should not use the steroid we may or may have not prescribed. Um, steroids are completely optional. Um, this version was called methylprednisone or prednisone. They come usually in a predetermined dose pack. This one in particular has six days of dosing with less doses as you go um, further into the regimen. What we use steroids for is to decrease swelling, but they are only about 50% effective in reducing swelling. So why would we prescribe them in some cases, not others? If we have a large amount of grafts we put in, uh, we might think your swelling is more significant, so we might suggest doing a steroid. If you had um, grafts placed in your frontal hairline like I did, um, we might think that you're going to have more swelling around your eyes and your forehead, so it might be more visible, so we might prescribe a steroid. If you tell us that you tend to swell more, we might prescribe a steroid. Or if we're trying to beat um, some type of um, public event that you're going to, we might prescribe a steroid. But again, they're about 50% effective. Uh, we do prescribe them when we want to try to do our best to reduce swelling, but they're not necessary. So if you weren't prescribed one and you don't want to take it, you can. If you weren't prescribed one and you want to take it, it's really not necessary, but you can call us and kind of discuss whether or not you should start it. Um, that said, you know, if you want steroids to work, you really want to start them in the first 24 hours or even before your procedure. They tend not to work once the swelling has um, already kicked in. So that's uh, a little bit about steroids. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us.